हेलो गाइस मैं कर्मन ने आज कोड फोर्सेस राउंड 727 डिव टू का प्रॉब्लम है डिस्कस कर रहे हैं प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट है कांटेस्ट स्टार्ट सो द कांटेस्ट हैज इज रनिंग बट आई एम नॉट गिविंग द कांटेस्ट सो लेट्स डिस्कस इट द क्वेश्चन सेज देयर आर एन पीपल पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन सम कांटेस्ट एंड दे स्टार्ट पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन एक्स मिनट्स इंटरवल um that means that the first participant starts at time 0 and the second participant starts at time x the third at 2x and so on during the contest is t minutes for each participant so the first participant finishes at t and the second at t plus x okay so basically isme hai kya ek example lete hain let's suppose uh, we are give we are uh, given with the three three variables these are n x and t so the n is the number of participants um x is the starting time uh, x is the interval for each participant and t is the contest duration okay <laughs> okay fine so let's suppose i i take an example um suppose we have we are given with we are given with six participants and the duration for each participant is 1 second and the total time or duration for each participant will be 3 seconds okay okay so how will how will this scenario look like let's draw it okay so the first participants let's say start at t equal to 0 and and that's t equal to 3 the second will start at 1 third will start at 2 and the ending time for them will be 3 4 5 so the question says uh, that the dis we have to calculate the uh, sum of dissatisfaction for all the participants and the dissatisfaction is the dis dissatisfaction equals to the number of participants that started the contest or or starting it now matlab jo participants hamare uh, jo participants hamare लेट सपोज हम अगर इसको कंसिडर कर रहे हैं कि जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स फोर टी इज इक्वल टू फोर सेकेंड से पहले या फिर इक्वल टू लाइक लेस देन और लेस देन और इक्वल टू फोर में जो जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स एक्टिव हैं यानी जिनका टेस्ट अभी कंप्लीट नहीं हुआ है तो वो हमारा टोटल डिससेटिस्फेक्शन काउंट में ऐड हो जाएगा uh, अगर हम एक चीज़ नोटिस करें यहाँ से नीचे से ऊपर की तरफ मैं अप्रोच करता हूँ लेट सपोज दिस इज़ द एंड स्टूडेंट दिस इज़ द लास्ट स्टूडेंट टू कम्प्लीट द टेस्ट फॉर दिस स्टूडेंट विच स्टार्ट एट टी इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड एंड एट टी इज इक्वल टू एट द डिसटिस्फेक्शन विल भी जीरो बिकॉज ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हैव फिनिश द टेस्ट सो द आंसर विल भी फॉर दिस पार्टिसिपेंट द आंसर विल भी जीरो ओके नाउ फॉर द सेकेंड पार्टिसिपेंट फॉर द सेवन ओनली वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इज अनफिनिश्ड इट्स इट्स टेस्ट so the count of dissatisfaction will be one for this participant there are two similarly for this participant there are these three for this for this participant there will be again there will be three because no not one so, sorry not one there will be three two three and four for this participant again it will be आंसर वुड बी वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री एंड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी आर टेकिंग दिस थ्री ओनली दिस वी हैव टू ऑब्जर्व ओके सो लेट सपोज आई टेक अ वेरिएबल पी एंड दिस वेरिएबल पी इज इक्वल टू वन सेकेंड दिस पी इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विच विल लाइन इन अ पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप एंड वन ग्रुप इज वेन द पर्टिकुलर स्टूडेंट स्टार्ट एंड वेन द स्टूडेंट एंड बिटवीन दैट पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप आई विल बी टेकिंग एज अ एज द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विच आर करेंटली which i can say is currently doing um, completing its test so this would be equal to uh, this will be equal to t by x simply t by x 
दिस इज बिकॉज टी इज द ड्यूरेशन विच इन माई केस इट्स टी इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड फॉर एक्स एंड एक्स इज द विच इज द ड्यूरेशन टी इज द टाइम टेकन टू कंप्लीट द टेस्ट एंड एक्स इज द एक्स इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द टेस्ट ऑफ एनी इंडिविजुअल स्टूडेंट सो द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स दैट कैन बी एकोमोडेटेड विद इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम ड्यूरेशन दिस विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री राइट सो वट आई वट आई डू इज आई आई टू का वेरिएबल दिस इज पी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू टी बाई एक्स ओके देन माई आंसर लेट्स टेक इट एन आंसर माई आंसर वुड बी इट वुड बी द सम फ्रॉम वन टू पी माइनस वन राइट वाई आई एम सेंग इज बिकॉज लेट्स टेक दिस पार्ट हेयर द पी इज इक्वल टू थ्री बट I have taken the sum up to one to two, so this would accommodate for the for that part, which is the increasing part uh, in the increasing time durations of the students. So this this is the first part plus, and with this we will add the second part. And the second part is how many times we have to take the um, t is equal to three, which is which uh, how many times which we have to take and this t is equal to three. So that will uh, simply be equal to. For the for the answer we will multiply p because p is equal to three and we multiply by p into how many students uh, for how many students we have to add it will be n minus one because the last for the last student the uh, dissatisfaction is zero so n minus one plus uh, sorry 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 for not plus and from this we have to subtract the number of students. Which we have uh, taken their answer in the in the previous part, so that will def that definitely be equal to p minus one, because uh, um, in case of p is equal to three, we have only taken one and two, so it will be p minus one. On further uh, simplifying this statement, uh, you can definitely see the answer. So the answer will be equal to this part here, and in that we will add p into. n minus one of on further further solving it becomes simply n minus p, and it would this would be the answer. Right, simple sa tha. Ha. Okay, let's see the code now. This is the code. So these are the three variables. I am doing it in Python. So this is the three variables n, x, and t. Um, Simply, I have taken it, and this very this while loop is for the number of test cases because we have we have to we are given with the number of test cases in the first statement, so we have taken this loop, and then after that, this is the variable p, and this is equal to t by x. So this is these are the I will write it. Uh, this would be equal to the number of students in a particular interval of. Paper or exam contest, whatever. So the answer will be p into p minus one by two. What is this part? This part is the basically um, this part is basically the uh, sum of uh, numbers, simple formulas, numbers from one to p minus one, um, and that is equal to this part. Okay, and then the second part is equal to p into n minus p as explained earlier. so from after that we we have to print the answer so this is the answer and okay i will submit it and i will uh, resume the video after that may for the problem may there is a there is an addition here uh, which i have written t by x it's actually uh, minimum of n comma t by x because there can be a case when uh, the number of students in a particular interval that can be greater than n um, suppose n is equal to 5 and uh, the duration for the time interval will be 1 and the duration of exam will be 6 so here the t by x amount t by x will be equal to 6 and which is greater than n and is not possible because the number total number of students how can it be less than the number of students which are present in a particular interval 
so this is a little statement uh, we have to take the minimum of n comma t by x my bad and then i have submitted it and it got accepted if you don't understand anything please uh, comment it and i will answer the questions and thank you for subscribing if you have not subscribed then please subscribe and like the video okay peace out